Hi, welcome to Mad English TV. I just want to teach you one word in this lesson, and that word is rifle. You already know what rifle means, right? A rifle is a kind of gun that you hold up to your shoulder, okay? That's called a rifle. If you hold it in your hand, that's called a pistol. This is a rifle, right? But the word rifle can also be a verb, meaning to throw or kick something really hard, or to search through something really quickly. Okay, so let's look at some examples. Messi rifled the ball into the top left corner. It means Messi kicked the ball really hard into the top left corner. The pitcher rifled a fastball past the batter. Okay, a fastball is a kind of pitch. I don't know, there's different kinds of pitches. There's a knuckleball, there's a changeup, there's uh, a fastball. Fastball is where they throw it really, really fast, okay? So the pitcher rifled a fastball. It means the pitcher threw the ball really fast past the batter, okay? Uh, the secretary rifled through the filing cabinet looking for the documents. So this is a filing cabinet and the secretary rifled through, means she's searching really quickly through the filing cabinet looking for the documents. Okay, you should always wash your fruit and veggies before eating them because you always see people rifling through them in the store. The reason people rifle through them is because they want the best ones, right? So I, I always see this in the store. People are like, they pick up an apple and then they put it back. They pick up another apple and they put it back. This is not good. They want the best ones, right? So you always see people like rifling through the fruit and the veggies in the store and you don't know what kind of diseases that person might have, right? They're touching everything. So it's probably a good idea to wash your fruit and veggies before eating them. Anyway, there's a little life tip for you. Um, okay, so let's do some homework. All right, I want you to think of two sentences with the word rifle and post them right down there in the comments. And as always, I'll tell you if they're right or wrong. All right, see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.